We all know exercise is good for us, especially as we get older. It helps our bodies stay strong and can even protect our brains. But what if something else you do every single day is quietly working against those benefits? For years, we've focused on getting enough physical activity to lower the risk of diseases like Alzheimer's. Regular exercise is definitely a key piece of the puzzle. However, new research is shedding light on another important factor. It turns out that how much time you spend sitting or lying down might be just as crucial. Even if you hit your exercise goals, spending too many hours being sedentary could still impact your brain health. A recent study looked at older adults over several years. Participants wore activity monitors to track their movement and sitting time. They also had brain scans and memory tests. The results were eye-opening. Researchers found that people who spent more time sitting had a higher risk of cognitive decline. They also showed shrinkage in brain areas important for memory, like the hippocampus. This study highlights a critical point. It's not just about how much you move, but also about how little you sit. Being sedentary seems to have its own independent effect on the brain. Think of it this way, exercising for an hour is great, but if you then sit for the other 15 waking hours, that long period of inactivity could still pose a risk. The common thought was that exercise canceled out sitting, but this research suggests that's not entirely true. The study also looked at people who carry a specific gene called APOEE4. This gene is known to increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. The findings were particularly strong for these individuals. For those with this genetic risk factor, spending more time sitting seemed to have an even greater negative impact on brain health and cognition. This suggests that reducing sedentary time might be especially important for people with this genetic predisposition. Neurologists reviewing the study agree that it adds a new dimension to the conversation. It reinforces that minimizing time spent sitting could be vital as we age. It's a modifiable factor over which we have control. Doctors often ask about exercise habits, but perhaps they should also be asking about sitting time. This research suggests both questions are important for understanding brain health risk. The good news is that reducing sedentary time is something most of us can do. You don't need a gym membership or special equipment. Small changes throughout your day can make a big difference. Try setting a timer to remind yourself to stand up and move around every 30 to 60 minutes. Just a few minutes of stretching or walking can break up long sitting periods. Make phone calls while walking around your house or yard. Instead of sitting for coffee with a friend, suggest a walk in the park. Join a virtual movement class for social connection and activity. This research gives us another powerful tool in the fight against cognitive decline. It's not just about hitting the gym, it's also about breaking up those long hours spent sitting. This is a risk factor we can actively address. Start today by finding simple ways to move more and sit less throughout your day. Share this information with friends and family. Talk to your doctor about your activity levels and sitting habits. Taking small steps now can help protect your brain for the future.